We don't really need to check check those. I mean, we could find... Hey, dude, get your clothes on. Looks like someone had bit his weenie off. Sucks to be you, man. Guess there's not much point in having your clothes on if you don't have any junk to show for, right? Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days and I'm an old guy gaming. It is Horde Night 140. Can you believe that? We have been doing this for 140 days. <laughs> and this is episode, I think, 99. So we're almost at the 100 episode mark. That's crazy, man. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, um, it's going to be business as usual. I got the, you know, the usual stuff in the inventory here. Uh, pipe bombs, stuff to repair. And uh, we're just going to, I'll just show bits and pieces of the Horde Night like we've been doing. And uh, after that, we will decide what we're going to do next. Um, I did do uh, the waterworks off camera. And uh, here's, here's a quick clip from uh, the loot and the reward for that. Well, you've proved me wrong. Now, take your reward and get the hell out of here. Okay, yeah, so uh, I I'm going to continue working on, you know, Tier 4s and Tier 3s at off-camera, at least the ones that we've already done, you know, that I've already done on this series. And I'll just, like I d just did with this, I'll show you the loot, uh, the end loot and the the reward um for that just because you know again i can't really do or, or i've decided not to do tier fives on the series we're live streaming those because they take so long so you know i kind of need something to do uh in the meantime any uh any new if we do happen to run into a new tier four um or some unique tier threes those i'll probably still do episodes on but if it's one we've already done uh, then i'm going to keep keep going so anyway um yeah here we go horde night 140 hope you guys enjoy the show let's do this
Oh no, I can't believe I just did that. I was like totally thinking about something else. I threw the bomb and forgot to back up. Ah, shit, that's my bad. Okay, well, the good news is we got four levels uh, out of the night. Um, and uh, my bedroll is like far underground all the way to bedrock. So I think I'm going to, since we only have uh, about 15, 16 in-game minutes left, I think I'm just going to stay down here and wait till morning and go back. Yeah, I, I totally, I was, I mean, things were going so smoothly that my mind started to, to wander. And I was just throwing pipe bombs and thinking about other things. And then I, I threw a pipe bomb and I forgot to back up. So anyway, that's my fault. Um, cord base is just smooth as butter though. I mean, it really is. It's just, it's awesome. I don't know if you guys remember, but I think I started with uh, XP bar to right about here-ish. And I think it was right about here-ish when I, uh, when I died. So, um, and, and we got, I, I started off with zero points and now we have four points. Um, in fact, we might as well look at these, uh, while we're, we're down here, uh, waiting for the Horde Knight to get over, uh, cause the Hordies aren't gonna, aren't gonna do anything in the next five minutes. Uh, yeah, so let's look at those first and then we'll head on up, uh, at daytime. So we're working now, uh, we're completely finished with Fortitude. I got Fortitude maxed out, uh, without the glasses. I got healing factor and pain tolerance and living off the land maxed out. So we're done with that. Uh, we're done with perception for at least for now. We got lucky looter and penetrator max out, which were the two that I was interested in. Demolitions expert is still always an option. You know, if we get to a point where the pipe bombs are not effective, but I mean, they're still one shot in almost everything, including super monsters. I, so <laughs> as long as they keep doing that, no point in me making the more expensive stuff, I guess. Right. Um, so we are now working on agility and so, uh, I want run and gun flurry of blows and hidden strike. Um, those are the ones that I'm, I'm interested in right now. And so it looks like we need to put, um, another point into agility straight up and then that should give us, yeah, the next hidden strike. And, um, let's go with. Uh, it looks like these guys are going to require agility four. Yeah. Okay. So let's put another point into agility. <clears throat> and then for these, uh, let's go with run and gun. And that uh, ends our points. And then the next level we'll put into flurry of blows and just keep working on agility. So if we want hidden strike all the way up to assassin, uh, we're going to have to max out agility. So I don't know. We'll see. We might, I might just take it to cold blooded killer, but I'm kind of getting to the point where, you know, I'm, I'm done, you know, getting done with my most essential points. Now, physician actually would not be a bad one either, just because it's going to make our, um, you know, our medical stuff more effective. So that's something we really should think about too, uh, coming up after we're done with all of the stuff in the agility tree. All right, let's head back up. Uh, we're gonna have to grab something to eat real quick. And then uh, we'll check the loot bags and see uh, what the damage looks like on the base. Okay, let's turn this off and go back in and get our bag. Okay. And then I'm going to grab um, Lucky's out of here. And uh, let's check the banks and the base. Okay, so the base is in pretty good shape. Uh, we did lose some blocks this time. Um, wow, look at this. They really tore the crap out of the ramp this time, didn't they? Huh, interesting. Yeah, this is the most damage I've seen uh, on this base so far. So we might need to be thinking about... Um, here, let's take that too. We might need to be thinking about more polished steel upgrades. Ooh, that's a really nice military helmet there. I'll take it. If we ever decide to go light armor, then that's going to be the helmet we'll use. Let's see what else we get here. And I don't want that. This will scrap. 
Okay, that's nice armor or iron helmet for selling. We've got a purple Glock 40 and another SWAT helmet. Some more luckies. We're going to scrap this and this. Oh, that's pretty nice, actually. Yeah, that's really nice. Um, I'll take that. We'll scrap this, and I don't care about the arrows. All right. What is this? A JNG 90 sniper rifle. Wow, that's kind of cool. I wonder how that compares to our our current sniper rifle. We'll have to uh, we'll have to do a comparison there. Here, I want to scrap that. And uh, you know what? I'm gonna chuck this brass. I got tons of brass. We're gonna chuck this also. And uh, the nails we can get rid of. Machete and another hazmat mask. Scrap this, take this, and don't care about this. Okay, so that takes care of, uh, oh, here's, here we go. Um, yeah, I guess that's worth selling. Okay, we got to wow, they really thumped down in there, didn't they? Yeah, this was the, um, as to be expected, the most intense horde I've seen so far. We had super monsters all the way till after, uh, two, 2 a.m. in the morning. So, not surprising there. So this guy, here, let's do a, well, here, we better go get the rest of the bags first. Yeah, this is interesting, man. This is interesting that they damaged those ramps. Huh. It's the first time I've, ooh, look at that beauty. Nice. First time I've seen them, you know, focus on the ramps like that. Nice compound bow, too. Cool. Okay, yeah, that was some pretty good loot. Actually, pretty good. Dude. They didn't. Uh, they didn't really mess with this ramp. They broke this up though, uh, and then we lost some stuff here. So yeah, this is definitely the most extensive damage I've seen so far. So yeah, I'm gonna have to think about. You know, either we we start using more polished steel, or I do like two layers of of steel or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But I mean, overall, the base is still holding up quite well i don't know if you guys probably couldn't see this in the video and yeah, we lost a couple blocks there but we had a behemoth coming in again too he was over on this side and i wonder if this block damage uh was from him uh very likely that it was so cool okay well i got some repairing to do but i'm not going to work on that right now uh what do i have for questing here i got another waterworks and another church these are both ones i'm going to do off camera um because i've already done them on this series you guys have already seen me do those so what i might do is go do both of those and just show you the end loot and the rewards and see if i can come up with um another uh, unique tier four quest. If not, then maybe what we'll do after that is we'll hit some, whoop, we'll hit some uh, just random POIs. Hold still. I want to go check out that train station too. That looks like it's going to be co really cool. So yeah, I will uh, get situated here and then go knock out the waterworks in the church real quick. Show you the highlights from that, and then I'll meet you back and we'll we'll go do a random POI if I can't find a unique tier four. Okay, so see you guys in a bit.
All right, guys, I'm back, and uh, it's almost morning. Uh, I got back home, put all my stuff away. Uh, we got uh, some nice stuff out of those uh, last two runs, and that church run was crazy, man. It was I, I had a screamer escalation at the end, so that's why uh, there was more a little more to it than just the normal run. Uh, but anyway, we got uh, we got this red auto shotgun, which is really awesome. Plus, we got that red other special type shotgun, um, but it's not actually better than the shotgun I have now. Uh, it's a very, very nice weapon, however, and we might switch to it at some point, but uh, yeah, this uh, KSG-12, but if you compare it uh, to my auto shotgun, my auto shotgun is just a little bit better, magazine size wise, rounds per minute, and durability. Uh, let's see, what else did we do? Uh, we got the, the red sledge, which is really, oh yeah, you know what, we need to put another melee mod on this guy, so... Uh, what has it got on it now? It's got the the weighted head, the ergonomic, and the burning shaft. Uh oh, we should put a we should put a rad remover on here. That's what we should do. And I think I have an extra rad remover right here. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so we got that. Um I got an upgraded uh we got some upgraded uh steel gloves. Uh which so I got those modded up and did we get, hmm, oh, this thing is just about done for. Okay, we're going to have to repair that. Um, so let's see, I've got, let's take, uh, let's take and repair this one, because it's the cheapest one we have. Do I have any more advanced repair kits? I do. All right, and we should be able to then do a combined repair and keep still keep this um, in the 900 uh, level. Okay, so we're going to have to take off the the mods first of all. And then we'll put this up here and this here. And uh, yeah, so we only lose 40 points and it's still 900. Okay, we'll put all this stuff back on and wear this. And let's look at the rest of our armor too. So that's getting down there, but it's not terrible yet. So yeah, th those are fine. And by the way, I can wear my armored hazmat jacket too because it's still considered clothes even though it's armored. Uh, and that actually puts my armor rating over 100, so <laughs> we're pretty tough. That doesn't it still doesn't mean it negates all damage, though. We, we still take damage, but we can take some hits now, which is good because uh, the monsters are pretty nasty. And let's see, I don't remember what else we got, but we got a couple other pretty nice things too. I think we got a, a ratchet maybe or something like that. Um... Uh, did I get this chainsaw this time? I can't remember. Anyway, it's in the video, so uh, all I remember is that we got nice stuff. Okay, <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to head out, and for the rest of this video, uh, we're just going to hit a random POI somewhere without a quest, because uh, none of the traders had another waterworks or church quest for us t uh, to do. Uh, I don't think we've actually all been all the way in this house. Let's just run in here really quick and see what's what's going on. So we'll take Big Mama down. Two Big Mamas. Did she? Oh, she must have jumped down from up there. Okay. I think the fat loot's in this room is up in that room there. Where are you zombies coming from? I'm trying to take his leg off. Everybody's an irradiated feral these days, man. He doesn't want to... He doesn't want to die, does he? There you go. You can die now. What do we got in here? Alright, I'm going to take that stuff. Yeah, I think we have to go up here to get to... That stuff, um, and I don't remember exactly how. I mean, if we had to, we could nerd pull, but it looks like it's this is the way to head up. We had biker zombo. Wait, where did he go? Oh, how did you get in there? Oh, he must have gone through the door, I guess. Okay. 
I'm going to switch back to, to slugs. In fact, I have the slugs being made up back at the base because with our, uh, you know, penetrator being as high as it is, uh, as in maxed out, those slugs are going to be devastating. Okay, so we come around somewhere over here. Oh, my God. You're the most dangerous. Got to get rid of you first. All right, he did. Get out of here, Arlene. Quit pushing me. You're pushy. Oh, you're pushing me. Okay, we got a concussion. Lovely. I've got stuff back in the bike for that. Uh, this is where we bust out here. Okay, then we walk along here and around here. And should be monsters in here. Or one monster. And here's the fat loots. Alright, let's see what we get. Small weapons bag. I think this is a tier 2 POI, maybe. That's pretty nice, and that's not bad either. More for selling. We probably would never use those things at this point. Chamois box. And whatever the hell this was. Probably a working stiffs or something. Okay, that takes care of this place. That was quick. Let's take one of these. And we have a sprain, so we can't uh, do anything about that. I'm just going to run over here and drop this stuff off, and then we'll hit another random POI. Okay, so we've done this house a couple of times, actually. I haven't actually been all the way in this house, though. So let's run in here and see what's going on. Make sure everybody's loaded. Got a workbench that's broken. Let's see if there's anything good inside of it. Some boards. I don't really need to check. Check those. I mean, we could find... Hey, dude, get your clothes on. Looks like someone had bit his weenie off. Sucks to be you, man. Guess there's not much point in having your clothes on if you don't have any junk to show for, right? What? Oh, stupid spider. Get out of here. Okay. I have to say, it's kind of nice having an armor rating of 102. Not going to lie, that doesn't suck. Okay, what's going on? Ooh, this is, this must be the fat loot room. Nice, got a large weapons bag. They just led us right to it. Okay. Check the medical. Shammy to shoddy. Wow, that's new. A scar. Cool. Cool, man. All right, we're going to have to do a comparison on that. Um... I compared the, uh, we, we found the, 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 our FNAR, I think it is, or whatever, in the last uh, POI, and it's not as good as my M60. How does this compare? So the M60 actually does less damage, but it's, of course, going to be better in every other way, but it does six less damage. So, yeah, this thing's uh, a powerhouse. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, dude, that's cool. I love it. We might have to we might have to sport that around a little bit at some point. Okay, that was a nice find. Is there anything down in here? Uh, oh, just a hole to jump in. Okay. Yeah, we definitely went a different way around to get in here, but that's okay because it was all busted up anyway. Zombos get in here all the time. Um, you know, because it's close to my house and they've beaten the crap out of the place. All right, good enough. Let's go hit one more random POI before we wrap things up. Oh, I know what I want to do. I've already hit this place, but there's another one back in Trader Jen's town. Um, it's not, it's not that, it doesn't take that long to clear. And there's some really good loot in there, so I'll meet you guys over there. All right, we are here. 
You know what? Let's to uh, let's just ninja the fat loots out of this place too, really quick. It's real easy to get to. It's just right in this corner here. Go on, little action, Marlene. You got some action. All right, let's jump up in here. I don't know why that pig attacked me. I didn't do anything to it. I was going to, though. <laughs> All right, ammo pile. Medicine cabinet. Uh, working stiff here. Leather armor repair kit. Uh, that's just a backpack. Shoddy messiah here. Okay. More stuff for the trader, man. More stuff for the trader. Uh, I think that's pretty much it for in here. Okay. Let's go. Let's go hit this uh, other POI. So there's there's a lot of bad meanies in this place, but it's not very big. So we should be able to kill them. And then uh, there's quite a nice little loot stash inside of here. I have another one of these, you know, over in my town, and I, I, I did it off camera. I think I showed you guys some of the stuff from it, but... Okay, we got snakes and something else in there, but this is where the good stuff is. I don't think I ever actually went through that entire building or maybe I did I don't know I don't remember uh, here. I'll, I'll grab the medicine cabinet hold still here, if I hit that stake with a shotgun at this range I'm gonna destroy it oh two snakes Okay, forget about that place. Let's let's do this one. Wake up, little Susies. Oh, I think the Diamond Phoenix is in here. He sure is. Okay, we need to try and kill him through the thing. I don't want to mess with him out in the open. That guy's a son of a bitch. Alright. I think that takes care of the front room. Got some more Zekis over here. Some knee, knees and nuts. Knees and nuts. Everybody dead? Yeah, I still hear somebody. Right. Let's just bust through here. We got the majority of them, so I'm not too worried about it now. That other guy's just a Ronnie McDonnie anyway. All right, let's loot. Yeah, see, we got a big hardened chest in here and a, uh, a gun safe and some other stuff too. So let's see what we get. This crap and meth laps. Lots of meth laps in here. That's what I call these things. <laughs> oh, 10 uh, grain alcohol is good. We can use that for uh, medical kits. Uh, let's not search that real basic stuff. Medical kit here. Weapons bag here. Yeah, there's there's some silly loot in here for how easy it is to to get into the place, you know. Uh, all right, let's get the food. Small weapons bag. 
Ooh, nice. Okay, so we could use this to repair the other FN FAL that we got. Okay, we'll take that. Um, a couple bookshelves here. And that's not a working vending machine. Ammo pile medium. Okay, let's do the safe and then we'll do the, the big guy. Okay, let's see what we got. Nice. Crossbow repeater. Okay, that's pretty good loot. All right, we're going to have to ditch some stuff and uh, also put some stuff in the bike. So we don't need the wood. We don't need the jars. We don't need five feathers. We don't need the iron. Okay, let's try the big boy. Got it on the first try. Oh, look at this beauty. Nice. 970. Almost a perfect sledgehammer. Oh, I love it. Okay. And uh, it's a pretty nice military boot, so I don't care about that stuff. All right. Yeah, that was definitely worth the price of admission. Let's get the leather on here. Like I said, I don't think there's anything significant in this place. Let's just peek, peek our head, or poke our head, rather, in here. It's like a it's like a daycare or something. It's really weird. I don't know. There's a couple lockers there, but there isn't really anything uh, significant loot-wise in here. So, yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I think that is it for this episode. So I'm going to go back to the base, drop stuff off, and then we'll start the next episode. And we might just do some more of this random looting. It's kind of fun just to run around. I mean, we're getting good stuff now. We have maxed out Lucky Looter. We're high game stage. I'm wearing Lucky Looters full time now, except for Horde Nights, where I put the, uh, you know, the, the nerdy glasses on. And yeah, maybe we'll just do that. We'll just hit some more random POIs in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And I'm going to actually go back to Trader Jen and Trader Joel and see if they have any more churches or waterworks to do. And if they do, of course, I'll just show you the end loot and the uh, reward for those. Unless, you know, I get another crazy screamer escalation or something like that. Okay, guys, we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.